In this video, we will code a robotic system to turn on motor 1 when an object gets within 6 inches of the distance sensor. Once the object is further away, the motor will stop. So our very first step is to go to the website, so code v5.vex.com. We'll go here and we'll go to file and new if there's something already on our screen. Typically it'll pull up the last project on that computer. But we'll say new blocks project if we need to. If not, if I'm already in new, I'm good to go. First step is to set up our devices. So I click on devices and I'm gonna choose add device. I'll choose motor. And for this one, I'm gonna choose port one. And then we'll add another device. For this, we're gonna need a distance sensor. So I went to add a device and here's that distance sensor. My distance sensor is plugged in to port 11. So I'll choose 11 and it becomes distance 11 for now. So we've got two devices ready to go. I'll go ahead and close this just so we can get a little more workspace. Now my next decision is, do I want this process to happen over and over? And yes, I do. So I'm gonna go to control and in control, I'll see the forever loop. So I'll drag it over under the wind started and connect it. Next up, we've decided that if something is within a certain distance, then we want it to do this function. Looks like an if then else statement probably would work here. So that's what we're gonna do. Right here in the control tab, I'm gonna drag the if then else statement over. So just like this. So right in this hexagonal area, I need to make some choices. I know that my sensor is going to be the distance sensor, right? But if I look here, these are circular, or they're pill shaped. And if I look here, it's hexagonal. Now these could fit, but that's not really giving me what I wanna get. So what I'm gonna do is use the operators. And I'm gonna say, if whatever system is less than, so I'm gonna come over here, drag that into the hexagon. Now I'm gonna go back into that sensing though. And I'm gonna find that, I'm gonna find that distance sensor. And it says distance 11 is within certain millimeters. So I'll drag that over to where the zero is. Now it's saying distance 11 object in millimeters. I can change that to inches. Right now it's saying within 50 inches or it's less than 50 inches. I'm gonna change that to six. So, I'll go up to the motor tab. Now I've set the sensor to do what it's supposed to do. So if the sensor reads that, then what do I want to happen? So I'm gonna to go to the motion tab and I'm gonna say spin motor one forward. Okay, so the, what it says is if the distance sensor detects something within six inches of it, spin the motor. If it doesn't, then we're gonna choose stop so we've got when the distance sensor gets with something's within six inches, start the motor. When it's not, stop the motor. So what I'm going to do now, I'll connect the brain up here. So I'll click beside the brain and choose connect. And this is going to say it's going to it's going to try to connect to our V5 brain. So we'll hit continue. And then right here, VEX Robotics Communication Port. We'll choose connect. And now you see the download button does light up. So we're going to choose download. For right now, I'll keep it on slot one, that's fine. Now I'll choose start. Now I'm gonna slide my hand. It's within six inches, so now that motor, this is motor one here, the motor is actually gonna spin. As soon as I move that, that object, which is my hand, the motor stops. So again, I'm within six inches, the motor's gonna start spinning. As soon as I move my hand, it stops. All right, so this is nice. This is a block code. So let's do this. Let's say file and save to your device and it'll save to your computer. Let's do this in the Python format. So in order to do Python, we're gonna go up to file and we're gonna say a new text project. And for this one, I've already saved it to my device. So I'll just hit discard on this. Now it's going to give me a choice to says, do you want to do Python or do you want to do C++? I'm going to choose Python. 
And you'll notice we immediately get into the text base. But if you look over here at the side, this is actually really familiar. First step though, right? Is go to our devices. We're gonna add a device. We're gonna say we need motor one. Now look at how the syntax has changed here. Before when we did block, we called it motor one just like that. And we can do the same thing here. So I'll click done. Now we need to add one more device and that is that distance sensor, right? So I'm gonna choose port 11 and then rename this to distance 11. So now our devices are set up again. And over here, you notice here's the motion tab is here now. It wasn't there before because we didn't have any motors. So I'll go ahead and, and kind of scoot that off our screen. So right here on line 43, We've got begin project code. So let's think here. We have to remember where we came from, right? We want this to happen forever. So we're gonna put it in a big loop. To do that, we're gonna go to control just like we did before. Now the difference here is we want a while. While means that it will continue to happen as long as a certain condition is being met click and drag it over just like we did with blocks now for condition I'm gonna delete this so I'll highlight it and I'm just gonna type the word true so while true and then I'm gonna say if and else right so an if else statement so let's drag that over and let's place it right here where the pass is so if and here's the condition our condition just like before in the block we said if it's within six inches of that distance sensor right so we can actually come in here to our sensing section click there and i'm going to kind of scroll her down here and here's our distance stuff here's our distance object right now it's in millimeters so i'm going to drag it over though right in front of the word condition gets a lot of that force and says distance 11 object distance right here it says millimeters though we're gonna have to type in the word inches right so then we come out here though in the condition so you remember when we did the green box with the block coding we're gonna actually put our condition here so less than six now we're gonna go now and say all right so if this condition is met what do we want to happen well, this is where we go to motors, so motion. Or we're say motor, spin forward, and that's going to come and take the place of this pass. So motor one is going to spin forward. That's that's perfect. I'm going to get rid of some, some lines here, because we don't need that. So now my else statement. Well, remember, just like before, if that condition's not being met, we want the motor to stop. So I'm going to drag motor stop going to delete the rest of this and that's really my code this code is going to do the exact same thing that my block code did so let's go ahead and prove it we'll download it and so you can see our, our distance sensor is right over here as soon as I cover it though there it is it's behaving just like it's supposed to so I'll use my hand now and come in and kind of cover that sensor motors running I'm going to move my hand away, motor stops just like we told it to. 